Hi, we are the EFI fashion team and I will present for you the project Clothes For Me from Brazil. Our team is composed by me, Bianca and Daniel in the field of information systems, Juliana and Isabel in the field of taxi and fashion, and our mentor professor, Luciano. Did you know that 85% of women have clothes in their wardrobes that don't fit? And 60% of people have difficulty in finding clothes that fit. So it looks like the sizes that you have in the market today doesn't fit for everybody, right? Um, we believe that you don't have to fit into clothes. You deserve clothes that are made to fit you perfectly. So the alternative for that problem is to do tailor-made clothes. But why don't people have these wardrobes full of tailored clothes? Because it is an expensive process and is a market that doesn't have scale. But before we present our solution, let's understand a little bit of the process of making clothes. It starts with the idea, the creation, and then it goes to the pattern making, the cut and the sew. But the bottleneck is in the pattern making because it is a very complex process where we have to represent the body that is 3D in a 2D flat pattern. And differently than large companies that use one pattern to put thousands of clothes to fill the small, medium and large sizes, in the tailor-made clothes we have one pattern for one garment. So it takes time. So we developed the EPMG, Electronic Pattern Making Generator, that instantaneously generate custom-made patterns. Um, the challenges we faced to develop this project was to define a math representation to our algorithm and then develop our algorithm and also a multi vendor based marketplace. So here is a demo of our software. We, def we developed a Universal Windows 10 app and what happens is you choose clothes that most interest you, your t you take your body measures, provided measures, and buy it. And the seamstress or tailor will receive that, select the pattern for you, print in a common printer, cut and sew. And you will receive the clothes in your house with 100% of the thing that will fit for you. As Daniel, and he's very happy with his tailor-made shirt, okay? so. What do we have today? We have the cats for fashion, but it has a high cost and requires a specialized people. We also have the pattern sellers, but you have to sew by yourself. And the traditional tailor-made clothes and is expensive and the patterns are done manually, so it takes time. We searched similar projects in the startups databases as TechCrunch or Crunchbase, and we couldn't find similar projects as what we do. So we have a unique solution. And so how this become an innovation? We did the clothes for me. There is a moody vendor marketplace for tailor-made clothes. And as a marketplace, our target public is customers that are looking for tailor-made clothes. And the providers are as seamstresses and tailors, for example. So this is a main scenario where a customer goes, access our marketplace, to choose the clothes that most interest him or her, put the body measures, simple measures that everyone can take from your own body, and um, choosing that option, he can see the available partners, how much it will cost, and how long it will take to deliver that. Choosing that option, the providers, uh, seamstress and tailors, will receive the patterns with the correct measures for that customer, do that clothes, and deliver that for this customer. So we have the same solution for different markets. Other consumers can be corporations or disabled people, for example. And as providers, we can also have sewing cooperatives and communities. So what we do, we optimize the process of producing clothes. Did you know that a seamstress earns seven cents to do a simple t-shirt? and she doesn't know how to design the pattern. But for the person who does, it takes at least one hour to draw it. Using our software, they will be saving time because it is instantaneously and aggregate much more value to the clothes they produce. And we want to make it easier. No need of knowledge in pattern making is required. So the technology we use is everything on Windows Azure. And we have MongoDB, Java, Tomcat, the universal Windows 10 app that I said. And for the future, we want to have that for other platforms and new technologies, as for example, Kinect to take the body measures and all the lens to provide like a mirror of yourself seeing you dressing the clothes. 
So here is our architecture. We have Windows Azure as the core of our product and our EPMG software providing the, need, the needed resources for our API. Uh, we can provide an API, for example, for Vogue magazine patterns. They can use our software. And also the website with our marketplace and the universal window 10 app where it possibilitates people to buy um, clothes for whatever platform Windows provide us. And to validate our project, we made many validations. One of that was the princess competition, where we inserted uh, a, a Brazilian princess dress, very complex, and the participants of that competition didn't have to have knowledge in pattern making. And we didn't teach them to how to use our software. And they did these beautiful dresses here. So um, other validations we have done, we invited uh, seamstresses and tailors, and they did clothes for disabled people as women that suffered mastectomy, for example. And the shirts that we are using was a partnership with an important bank in Brazil. So here it is. And here is the result of that princess competition. Uh, so essa peça veio para que eu montasse já com a modelagem toda pronta do sistema. Uh, o que me deu mais trabalho realmente foi o corpete, mas todas as costuras se encaixaram muito bem. Me poupou em torno de 5 horas de trabalho. Com as minhas medidas, e é uma roupa que cabe em mim perfeitamente, funcionou. E eu apenas inseri minhas medidas no software e imprimi em casa, na minha impressora caseira. I've been testing the software and this one for example is one of the dresses that I made myself using the software. I think the software has basically three uh, potential skills and they're all excellent to me. First of all, they save time when preparing uh, the pattern. Second, you can print as many patterns as you want and you can use them with students all over. So, in the case of the students that you're seeing now, these are students from the Hong Kong Performance Academy. They are showing us the use they made of uh, the software. So, I do trust this is going to be a potential and very interesting invention for the arts and also for the industry of clothes making. Okay, so how big is this market? Just in 2012 in Brazil, in the fashion industry, we have 56.7 billions of dollars, being one of the top five industries. And in the internet, that market is, is with 5.7 billions. So it's a huge market, right? And here is our business model canvas. I want to focus on the revenue streams where we will obtain money from sales commissions, sponsorships, and subscriptions. And we provide that technology and people can produce the clothes they want to. As for example here, female clothes uh, for disabled people, as I said, and also male uniforms, historical clothes, everything. So <laughs> um, together we can sell the world, bring what is up in the fashion world from Brazil, Paris, Milan, anywhere with a global scale. And as impact, we want to empower people that are in that field and improve that people's quality of life. We are not taking jobs. We are creating a sustainable way to generate money and empowering that people. We are democratizing the fashion world. So uh, after three years of solving complex math problems, we have an innovative, validated, ready to use solution. And now we have a startup partnerships with tailors and seamstresses in Brazil. We are presenting our solution for investors and we required a patent. We did it. So this is the Clothes For Me project from the AFIT fashion team. I want to thank you very much. <laughs>